Ram 2500 Rebel HD will have both a limited slip differential as well as a locking differential in the rear. Yes, you heard that right. It'll have both of those options in the rear differential. What is going on today, guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back in the old sand pit here. Perfect for some off-road talk, maybe even some off-road content at the end there. We'll see. Um, but we're talking about the Ram Rebel once again. I kind of feel bad. I feel like maybe I was a little too harsh on the Ram Rebel. That payload number is absolutely abysmal. In my last video, if you guys haven't seen that, I talked pretty harshly about the potential low payload and lower towing with the Cummins engine, which shocked me, but you guys in the comments said maybe I was a little bit too harsh, which looking back, maybe I was a little bit too critical. Anyways, today we're gonna to talk a little bit more positively about the Ram Rebel um, and one of its key features, the rear differential. So I read a couple comments on some review videos of the Ram Rebel down in Texas, and it seemed like uh, a couple people were uh, confused how a truck could have both a limited slip as well as a locker in the rear differential. Now, this is my 2022 Ram 2500 Power Wagon, and it in fact also has a limited slip and a locker both in the rear differential. So we're gonna talk about how that's even possible. So this differential right here is a 11.5 inch uh, rear AAM differential, wonderfully beefy unit. And it does come with a helical style limited slip differential as well as an electric locker in the rear there. Now we don't know for sure what the gearing ratios are gonna be offered on the Rebel. I would imagine it probably is gonna be both the 410 and the 373s, but we don't know for sure. What we do know for sure is that it is going to have a helical limited slip and an electric locker in it. And I think this is one of the most brilliant things about, first of all, the my power wagon and the new Ram Rebel HD is that rear differential. For example, in the climate where I live, where it's, you know, our winters are pretty snowy, it's just awesome to have a limited slip back there because, you know, if you're in town and some roads are still snow covered, some roads are wet, some roads are even dry, you don't really have to worry about, let's say, locking the rear diff because the limited slip just gives you plenty of traction seamlessly, especially this helical limited slip. Um, whereas if you just had an open differential, it just, it, it kind of sucks driving around town in the snow with an open diff because somewhat, sometimes you need traction on those snowy roads and you really don't have it. And other times when you're back on dry pavement, you really shouldn't have your truck in four wheel drive or the differential lock. So having a limited slip as well as a locker, I think is just an absolute magnificent option. Um, and obviously the Rebel's gonna come with that. I don't know for sure, but I don't really think, or I don't really know any other vehicle um, that comes with that option from factory. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but uh, as far as I know, it's one of the only um, differentials that comes with a limited slip as well as a locker. Now, there's nothing wrong with having an open differential as well as a locker, which is what most trucks come with. I believe the Ford F-150s um, that have the e-locker, which is, again, nothing wrong with the Ford e-locker. It's actually a great thing to have, but normally, just normally driving the differential is an open diff, which, like I said, just driving the winter with an open rear diff is not necessarily the best which is why, again, I just, I really, really like this idea. I think it's just brilliant. Now the limited slip diff that is going to be in the HD Rebel as well as what's in my power wagon is what's called a helical style limited slip differential or uh, a torsion style limited slip differential. And what that means is that this limited slip is a very strong unit because it uses what's called worm gears. Now, a normal, uh, let's say limited slip differential like in a Ram 1500, is going to use what's called a clutch pack limited slip, meaning there's two clutch packs. And when wheel slippage is detected, there's gonna be torque transfer through that clutch pack, forcing torque to the wheel that has all the track. Now there's a couple issues with that. Well, I guess not issues, but there's a couple things to be aware of with a clutch pack limited slip. First of all, um, you need to put special liquid in your differential, as well as the fact that it is not maintenance free. Those clutch packs can wear, and eventually sometimes you actually need to replace them um, in order to get the limited slip to work properly. The other thing is that over time, as those clutch packs wear, the limited slip may still work, but it might not work as well. So clutch pack limited slip differentials do work. They, they work very well, um, but they are not perfect. Whereas the helical style limited slip, not perfect, but it is much better. It's much stronger. Those worm gears are maintenance free. They're never gonna wear. 
well, I shouldn't say that. They might wear, but they're not going to wear like a clutch pack will. My good friend who has a 2003 Ram 2500, uh, which has, again, an 11 and a half inch rear differential, uses basically the same setup with a helical rear differential in it. And, um, you know, it's got over 400,000 kilometers run through it. And his limited slip still works perfectly. So these things are very, very strong, making this limited slip a really, really good option for these trucks. Now I couldn't find too, too much information on the actual electronic mechanism that locks this rear differential. But uh, like I said, what's gonna happen is there's probably gonna be a collar that slides over and it's gonna lock the whole differential carrier to the axle shafts, meaning that both wheels in the rear are gonna have to spin no matter what if this thing is in drive with power going down to that differential. So I'll leave you guys with a really cool demo I did last winter with this truck. Uh, which really helps to explain the difference between the limited slip as well as the locker in terms of the traction ability. And it should show pretty clearly um, why a locker is just that much better. So that is a limited slip dip there. As you guys saw, that wheel there turned first for quite a bit and then as I got on the throttle and there was enough torque delivered to this wheel, it shot out the traction board. So limited slips do work, they do work very well, but at times they have limitations like you saw. Let me show you that exact same situation with a locker. It should be night and day. So hopefully that was pretty clear. It seemed to me it was pretty clear that when the diff is locked, there is no way you are not gonna get power to both wheels, which is pretty important when you are off-road. So as you guys saw, it took a little bit of time for that limited slip to send power to the wheel with all the traction on the traction board. Whereas when this truck was fully locked up with the electric locker, power was split 50-50 to both wheels right from the get-go at all times. Now that is pretty much the major difference between a limited slip and a locker. Luckily, this truck as well as the Ram Rebel will have both of those options for you to play around with. Now, some of you guys may be saying after watching that, well, there really wasn't that much of a difference. And to be honest, from that video, it seemed like both the limited slip and the locker basically did the same thing. But where limited slips tend to show their weakness is in one of two ways. So if you have a clutch pack transfer case, what can happen is, let's say there's a high friction difference between both rear wheels. So one wheel's pretty jammed up and one wheel's just basically free spinning. Sometimes those clutch packs are not strong enough to actually transfer torque to the wheel with all the tracks. And so the limited slip is basically just rendered useless in that situation. Um, now, specifically with the helical or the torsion style limited slip with the worm gears, if one wheel is fully up in the air, the limited slip is not gonna work. Where a locker, it doesn't matter if both wheels are in the air. Both wheels are gonna spin at the same time no matter what. So if you are, let's say, seriously going off-road, a locker is a really key piece of off-road equipment and it really does separate um, four by four vehicles from one another. But if you guys just have a limited slip in the rear, don't worry, honestly, a limited slip is going to be great for probably like 80% of off-road situations. It's really gonna help. It makes a hell of a difference in comparison to an open differential. So don't worry if you guys have a limited slip and not a locker, you're still gonna have a lot of fun off-road and they are usually very capable. So with that being said, I figured I would give you guys a little demonstration with this truck. We'll play around in the sand a little bit and I'll hopefully show you guys the difference between a limited slip and a locker in certain situations. So we might even get this little mall crawler here a little bit dirty today, so we'll see. sand and the old uh, pavement princess here not good not good all right well uh, let's put her in four wheel drive high here see if we can uh, get her uh, get her out of here oh yeah nothing to her Jesus 
They almost forget this is a power wagon. She just goes over anything she wants to. All right, guys, we're back home. Beautiful night. Unfortunately, I just really couldn't get this power wagon to get one wheel off the ground. There's just too much suspension flex and there was always one wheel on the ground uh go figure eh so what i'll do is i'll leave you with another clip um of me again last winter kind of basically showing what i was trying to do i jacked up one wheel and so one wheel is completely in there and you just see how the limited slip helical differential um, will just spin the wheel in the air without actually putting traction to the wheel on the ground there we go So, as far as I can tell, that limited, as far as I can tell, that limited slip is not doing anything. So, as you guys can see, we are locked and uh, this should pull the jack right out of there. I'm a little nervous, but hopefully everything will be okay. Here we go. So guys, I hope that goes to explain the limitations of a helical style limited slip. When one wheel is completely off the ground, you're going to get no power going to the wheel on the ground. Whereas, like we probably expected, with the locker, no matter what, both wheels are going to spin in any situation. So there you go guys, that's the difference between both the limited slip and the locker on the Ram Rebel. The beauty is, you guys are going to get both of those things and you're going to get to play around with both. So. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you guys on board. But uh, enough of me. It's Sunday. I got to go to work tomorrow. So we'll see you in the next freaking video.